For those always asking, where's the brisket? Where's the meat? I think we found it. No matter what top barbecue list you see out there, one thing is for certain. Heritage Barbecue will be mentioned at least once, if not over and over. During the pandemic, pitmaster and owner Danny Castillo, along with his wife Brenda, have opened its San Juan Capistrano doors to fulfill one mission, to feed as many people as they can and bring authentic Central Texas barbecue to the community of Orange County. When we started Heritage, you know, we were really focused on the name. The, the name Heritage is like, what we can we all bring to the table? You know, working with barbecue is, is a patient process as it is, you know, it's a, it's a hurry up and wait game. My uh, executive chef, Nicholas, he's very talented. And, um, you know, that kitchen is his kitchen, it's not mine. You know, he's the chef and however he wants to run that kitchen, it's his thing and, you know, he does a fantastic job doing it. Go ahead and build this fire up. And we're looking for some channel logs. Something like this, dude. As you can see how fast that thing lights up. It's only because those hot coals were in there. Otherwise, it'd be a longer process to get it to that level. started the restaurant, you know, we, Nick and I sat down together and we said, we want to make this a place where uh, everything that we thought that was wrong with our previous jobs, we want to correct that here. <laughs> this anti-corporate, you know, bullshit that they teach you with these team building and this, you know, team members and all this stuff. I thought that we could flip that around and say, how do we make each other as a team richer? These guys that I've worked with over the last few years, you know, some of these guys were working at their jobs for, you know, 10 years or so. And I said, hey, I, I'm not sure how this is gonna pan out, but, you know, I would love for you to come work uh, for me and, uh, you know, take that chance. Where's your hat, Gompa? <laughs> it's in the truck. Our crew, all the guys here are all movers and takers, so uh, we love pushing the line and we love pushing the service. I mean, uh, this kind of thing is our lifeblood, so it, it's something that everybody in our crew is just, yeah, they love it. I consider Danny my family, so every day when we come in here, we try to work as hard as we can for him because this whole crew is our family, so we want to succeed. If you guys focus on family, how does that come out to the community, the food you produce? Like, how does that affect everything? I think I think people see it because when they come to Heritage, it's, it's really an experience, you know? It's that community that you get for standing in line and having a beer with somebody that you don't even know, you know? And you get a lot of people that come back here because they do that and you'll see them eating with different groups of people and that's, that's like the family unity vibe that we really want to cultivate over here in San Juan. It rained all morning, but as the sun rose, the people came. And we were reminded that the most faithful would drive over 100 miles and wait over two hours to sink their teeth into this heavenly barbecue. So we waited too. Now, was it worth it? You're about to find out. 123. 23. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. All right, no one knows what I'm gonna ask right now, but everyone has to answer. One thing you guys are looking forward to right now, let's go. Uh, brisket. I wanna eat. Sausage, sausage, sausage. Okay. All right, whoever gets the bigger piece gets the wish. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Speaking of long ones, this is what yeah. Kevin's butthole looks like after a long day of eating. That's extremely inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear that? He grab, went grab direct. A, grab a glove. One, two, three. Cheers. Uh, Cheers. Hey, don't burn your tongue though. Oh my God. I got the butthole end of it, but it's still, it's, it's phenomenal.
now we're just finishing up some chicken and turkey. So uh, Chris is gonna check checking the temperatures and make sure that everything's on on target to come off by 11. Sixteen hours of prepping and smoking, it's finally here. Good old Central Texas barbecue. And Danny personally serves us their flagship spread that's making waves all over Southern California with a sweet touch of Southern hospitality. Almost sold out of turkey. We have a little bit of full pork and we got a shit ton of brisket left. There's about two to three pork ribs and a half pound. Yeah. You guys probably want one each. Yeah. I'm gonna take four pork ribs. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah. yeah. Danny, the barbecue pit master, what should we start with, brother? Um, I would like for you guys to try the brisket first. Kind of figured that with all the other proteins, especially the beef rib, which is super rich, um, that you get something a little bit of lean. Hey, cheers, 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 cheers. If that's lean, I'm, I'm very curious with the non-lean. When you're eating barbecue, yeah. there's a reason why there's all the pickled items. Mm -hmm. You can't eat very much of this unless you have something acidic, you ah, know. Wow. You have to break it up, cleanse your palate, and then you can eat more. Uh, this is the beef rib. Um, it's a prime beef rib. Uh, it comes from Nyman Ranch. And uh, this has been cooked for around 10 hours. And we only do this on the weekend. The oh my gosh, wow. Mm -hmm. Came out the right day. <laughs> Try this, Calvin. You gonna feed me? No, no, no. No, get, get yourself, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah. Oh my God. Our pulled pork is something that sometimes some people kind of think of as an afterthought. Sure. Um, we have a really nice vinegar sauce that we do with it that you can't really see from the surface. Love it. But um, you should probably try some of that. That's right, a lot of pork to serve too. All right, pulled pork. Here we go. It's Ooh. fatty, it's juicy. Because I've had pulled pork where it's like too salty. That happens all the time. So yeah, this right is, out. Yeah, this right is out. great. Uh, give us like just real quick a rundown of what sides we're, we're, we're having today. Sure, so it looks like this is our Alfredo Mac and we top it with a little bit of uh, chicharron and there's some house-made bacon in it. And uh, these are our esquites. It's a play on a jalapeno cream corn meat street corn. Brisket beans here, jalapeno cheddar cornbread that's baked locally right down the street. On this side, we have our classic potato salad. It's like potato salad meats, ranch dressing. And then this is our, our famous bread pudding there. Mm. And that's sourdough banana bread that we break and almost make like a parfait. You know what, after eating this, even though the line wraps around this building, I feel like the line's not long enough. This is divine, bro. Yeah, What's been your favorite so far, bro? You know when you have like a really good soundtrack, but you love every single track? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty rare too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm telling you, man. Like that's what it feels like right now. We don't worry about calories. Oh, we man. This stuff. Nah. We don't worry about salt. We don't worry about any of that stuff. It's all the APS stuff. <laughs> this is a, a, a chili chili bang bang right here, bro. <laughs> bang bang. Bang bang. bang, bang. <laughs> Oh, poor bread. Cheers. <laughs> mm. uh, we, we recently did a trip too, and we traveled around um, Austin, and I had the guys eat at some of these places. And you know, great barbecue places, but you know, when they're trying the sides and stuff too, they're like, you know, shit. We're putting a lot more effort and love into like this, not just the proteins, but everything that we do. Well, one thing I appreciate about that though, is that you've been consistent throughout our conversation that you want to continue to push the boundaries. And to Kevin and I, that's what real authenticity is, dude. Uh, Danny, any, any last words? Thank you guys for coming out here, enjoying our food and tell all your friends, man. We love to have folks come from all over the county and we're looking forward to serving everybody here in Orange County. Food Fest Live's trinity is story, food, and community. The family here at Heritage Barbecue eclipses this trifecta while expanding the barbecue culture with diversity, giving back, and showing love to their own people. They're definitely here to stay, but more importantly, they're here to serve. So until next time, fam, we invite you to walk along with us, and let's foodie up.
Hey guys, be sure to subscribe to Food Fest Live. These guys know what they're doing.